nice broom. Jobs don't grow on trees. Be positive. Go out into the world and win. I have every confidence in you. Good luck, my dear. But, Mrs. Price, who will ever want to employ me? The new secretary now? Yes, I'm also back. Let's hope you stay longer than the other one. Come in. Come in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm very glad. But 30 years we was a minister. Mr. Ross is down at the factory in the morning. But his review blending of work to be getting on with. Dear sir, I am pleased to inform you that Ross and Benister have introduced a new line of sun cushion in yellow, orange and pink. Still here, fighting back, huh? Yes. I'll be here till 1 o'clock today. Anything you want to know? Mr. Jock, who is Miss Broom? Wrong question, Mrs. Beck. Who was Miss Broom? She was all Mr. Bannister's secretary. Been here 43 years. Girl, woman, and all mystery. Sitting there when you are sitting now. After 43 years? Well, she was bothered, wasn't she? But the old bag didn't have any family who owned her. She didn't want to go. This place was her home. This job was all she lived for. Dear Miss Boom, Mr. Duck told me you used to be secretary to Mr. Bannister. I am sorry to have to tell you that Mr. Manister passed on three years ago. It is true, Miss Boom. Mr. Duck is worried about Mr. Manister. He does not know how he will manage without you. Mr. Duck told me Mr. Manister was always saying how much he miss you. Truly, he must miss you. He needs someone to look after him. Goodbye, Miss Boom. Best of luck in your new job. Your sincerely, Lucy Beck, Secretary.
Goodbye, Miss Boom. Good luck, my job. <laughs> Good luck, my dear. But... <laughs> but, Mrs. Price... We want... <laughs> but, Mrs. Price... We, we want everyone... <laughs> yeah. But, Mrs. Price... <laughs> Talk to the small. Talk to the hand. <laughs>